Hi there, we are Luke and Tanya. We could have stayed in our home country, the Netherlands. Get a huisje, grow a boompje, create a beestje. Instead, we decided we wanted something different. We left everything behind to start a new life somewhere else. While searching for a new place to call our home, we are traveling in Central America and exploring everything there is to see. After working a few days, we are leaving the Sarapiki River. And we are going to a very special destination. On the route to this very special destination, which we will reveal soon, are all these banana plantations. We even stood in front of one of the bridges where the bananas get taken from one side of the road to the other side of the road. <laughs> and it was really funny because at first we didn't know what was happening and we thought maybe a train was coming but it was a sack of bananas <laughs> it is time to reveal where we're going we are going to Tortuguero and as this is such a special place we have a whole video dedicated to it it's a place without cars the only way to get here is either by boat or by plane and we took the cheap and the coolest option the boat ride is just stunning. We can't wait for our first visit to the Caribbean side. We're almost there. A bit of history while we walk to our hotel at the beach. Tortuguero is a small town at the Caribbean Sea. There are no roads going here, so the town is quite remote. The town, as always by the name, is known as Turtle Town, because three species of turtles lay their eggs here, including the biggest turtle there is, the leatherback green turtle. We are here in April, which means, sadly, that there are no turtles at all. But that's not the only reason to come here because on the other side of this cute town is a network of small rivers, canals and lagoons. Due to the high rainfall and the fresh water meeting the sea, this area has incredible biodiversity and lots of options to see nature and wildlife, which is exactly what we like. The Caribbean Ocean. Hear the sound of the jungle? It's them waking up together with us. It's 6 a.m. in the morning and we just started our tour with the guide Castor who is wading us through the water. The only thing we want to do is just stay here forever. Morning birdies, don't fly away. There are no words for how beautiful it is here. We li really like our guide. He is the oldest guide in town and is the son of the first guide from Tortuguero. He shows us everything there is to see, from birds to monkey swinging. He also explains that the howler monkeys like to poop on you, which we experienced along the Nicoya coast. One of the most astonishing things here is that what we see here is actually a secondary forest, which means its trees will get even taller and the variety can still increase. This whole area was used for felling trees and about 50 years ago the area was given back to nature to regrow. It's amazing to see what you can get doing nothing for 50 years. Monkeys look, want to join them? Wow. 
we are on our way to this little mountain to see some views of Chorjaguero. But this time it was actually cheap to go into some part of the national park. Lucky. And don't let the wind fool you, it is hot. And we finally, at last, didn't forget our binoculars. Thanks mom and dad. Next to a little mountain, or how they call it here, the Cerro, is the cute little town called San Francisco. It's even less known than Torteguero and therefore more remote. We wanted to get some ice cream here, but as life is so peaceful here, Nothing is open yet. We have been incredibly lucky even during the pandemic to be able to come here. We also realized that Tordeguero really has been suffering from the pandemic as it's a tiny town completely dependent on tourism. With everything open again, business is back to about 50% with the use of masks. Also, more tours and activities are private because large groups are avoided. For us, this is great because we get to spend more time in nature and we don't get bothered by the noise that up other people make. Now, the only one that can scare animals off is Luke. <laughs> um, but the towns are like not crowded at all. There's just some tourists and this obviously is not very good for the people that live here. And we're back. The one good thing about being on land again is that we have Opie back. And luckily, with Opie, all sorts of weather is welcome. And on this short drive, we go from sunny to rainy to sunny to stunning. And being reunited with Opie again, we really wanted to find a nice wild camping spot. We just roamed about a bit and then we saw this river which we really liked and we drove the car there along all of the places to see if there was a place where we could maybe park and camp. We asked the owner of the land here if we could stay by the river and the views are stunning. We have monkeys right above us so we are hoping they won't poop on us again. A bit later, the farmer came down to tell us that the river can increase by a meter overnight. So, we ended up moving this spot to a bit higher up. And that was it again. Thanks for watching, lovely people. <laughs>